moved to the peppers now and they're quite large for being in a nursery still and there's eight here and they're even getting close to fruiting so I need to get busy on this this is going to be an aerated water culture it's going to go in a grow tent and I bought the container at Lowe's today and um, so I'm, I'm going to put four plants in this thing uh, my pepper here doesn't get really tall but um, I'm going to compact them together because each one of these plants are going to be different from each other as a breeder I want to select the best ones so it doesn't really matter to me if they're a little bit uh, if they grow a little bit close together they're still going to grow fine um, and there's going to be this is 10 gallons going to be 10 gallons of uh, nutrient to to drink so it'll last quite a long time for uh, peppers so I've got a little air stone that I'm going to put in this. This was actually in a 55 gallon distribution tank that I had in my greenhouse a couple years ago. It's just been sitting out and needs to be cleaned up. I got this little bitty pump. All I just need is a little bit of air going in here and um, so it's going to be easy. I just drill four holes in equal distance in the lid here and then I'll take and lift these out one at a time just like that and I might lose a little bit of the roots but that's okay and then I'll just plug them right in the one inch holes here and this will already be full of nutrient and sitting inside the little grow tent so let's get after it The air pump is raised higher, that way no liquid can backflow back into the pump and potentially ruin it. It's plugged in there, this is just a simple aquarium pump. I can adjust the bubbles, it's got a little bit of adjustment there, but I want full bubbles. And that's what it looks like. The three stones give me the ability to, uh, if one clogs, that there'll be a couple more. And so it'll always be oxygenated which is good and um, I prefer oxygenation over cracky so um, I'll put this on now that's the top I'll move this out of the way and uh, back here and then we'll put the peppers I decided to go with three peppers and the eggplant instead um, just because it's different and because it's the one sole survivor I've got to get this thing to fruit so I can save the next generation. If it dies on me, well, I've lost a whole generation in an exceptionally great looking, great tasting plant there. So one eggplant's gonna come in here where I can baby it and three peppers. So let me go get the peppers. All right, got it on the little tripod here so I can try to show you this. Now these, I wanna pick three good plants that I can grow in here so I can closely monitor them. And one of the traits that I check for is earliness. So the plant, this particular one, has two little flowers on the same uh, on the same spot on this one plant, and it's got the earliest of fruits, um, the old earliest potential fruits because of the flower development. So I'm going to take here and I'm going to gently roll it back and forth here till I pull it out of its spot there. And this is what the plant looks like. Let me make sure you can see it. See, there's not a whole lot of roots there. And the roots aren't exactly white like I'd like. you got some that are a little whiter. But anyway, this is going to go in the back corner. Yep, you can see all that. So let me hopefully keep my face out of this because I haven't brushed my hair um, at all today, actually. Because... It's a down day, so to speak. So I just take it and I do it like that, and I twist it. And that particular one is set. I'm going to do it with the three other, three, uh, two more peppers and an eggplant. And as the peppers grow, because they're that far apart, I can connect them together with like a tomato clip. Like when they get a little closer together, and that will keep them from toppling. They will lean on each other, so to speak. So let me look in here and find another good plant. The center one's the tallest, but 
kind of has to be to fight for light so it might not be an ideal candidate this one looks good it's got two little small flowers on it yeah we're gonna take this one right here that one was even easier to get out and we'll pop that bad boy right back here now like I'm sure I've said before I hope I have these can take some root pruning in other words you can damage it a little bit but uh, I poke it in then twist it and it kind of pulls it loose and lets it settle down in there so um, yeah they can take some root damage because obviously when they're grown in soil you have pests in the soil that munch on them anyway I'm going to do that with the others and the eggplant and I'll bring you back all right I got them in place I left two like this so you could see how I resolved that um, the eggplant has a piece of styrofoam in it and that kind of squeezes the stem against the side gently keeps it in place and let me take it off see if you can see the roots underneath there oh yeah you can good uh, so that's what it looks like that's plug and play not the old computer plug and play that we're used to but plug and play like take it from one there for another one location and plug it into another location um, same format so I take these little pieces of foam a little thinner than these and what I do is I put it on the outside against the cup like this and I wedge it in that hole where the lip of the, the one inch neck cup pushes down on it and that looks like I squeeze a little piece of root but what that does is it pretty much locks it in place I'll do it one more time on that back piece back there you learn little tricks like that as you go along in time with hydroponics so this is, yeah, this is what I call aerated water culture. A lot of people call it deep water culture, but there's no definitions of what deep is. Um, you think if there's a deep water culture, there would be a shallow water culture, but you hardly ever hear of shallow water culture. Uh, but to me, it's all a form of aerated water culture or water culture, either water culture that's aerated or non-aerated water culture, which is cracky. Cracky. BA cracky. Alright, so that's it. I've got uh, three peppers and an eggplant, and I'm just going to keep them in here. And um, we'll see how they do. Got the light a little bit lower. We'll leave it where it is and just kind of monitor things. Those uh, peppers are pretty dang hardy. Yeah, they probably won't go through much shock at all with this little bit I showed you today. Look what we have here. A new flower to pollinate. I use this so you can tell by the color on the the old Sonicare here. And it's been used quite a bit. So we're going to pollinate it. Just like that. Now yesterday that flower was actually a little bit more closed and I touched it and it dropped a little bit of pollen even before it fully opened. So we should definitely get a uh, pepper on that plant right there.